Shalom brothers and sisters. So leading into Passover and Ramadan with tensions high, terrorists being nabbed, rockets being fired, everybody trying to murder as many Jews as they can in Israel and everything is already at those breaking points. And now with this whole judicial reform that's tearing the country apart at the moment with the liberals pushing against the government and just causing chaos everywhere. The military has now gotten involved. Israel's revered military gets caught up in fight over judicial overall. Shraga Tehova is hanging up his fatigues after more than three decades as a reservist in the Israeli military. The paratrooper says he will no longer put his life on the line for a country slipping towards autocracy. Tehova is part of a wave of unprecedented opposition from within the ranks of Israel's military to the contentious government plan to overrule the judiciary. Like Tehova, some reservists are refusing to show up for duty and former commanders are defending their actions as a natural response to the impending change. The values of this country are going to change. I am not able to serve the military of a state that is not a democracy, said Tehova. The typical taboo talk of defying military orders underlines how deeply the overall has divided Israel and is now tearing at what Israeli Jews see as their most respected institution, the military. Concerns are growing that the protest will trickle down to young conscripts as well. In a declaration that sent shockwaves through the country, three dozen reserve fighter pilots said they won't show up for training this week in protest. The airmen are seen as the cream of military personnel and irreplaceable elements of Israel's battle plans. The Air Force Chief, Major General Tomer Bar, met with 50 squadron leaders last week to listen to their concerns. And in a letter sent to pilots afterwards, Bar acknowledged the difficulties and challenges the country is facing, but said... The Air Force must remain committed to its mission of protecting national security. Airline pilots have also gone as far as to refuse to fly the Prime Minister anywhere. Tenders had to be sent out to find a pilot willing to fly them. That's how bad the internal strife in Israel is at the moment. And I know back in the day, you're not supposed to take political sides or anything. You're supposed to serve your country. And they're definitely not not being a democracy anymore. It's a large issue for sure, but it is blown out of proportion by the side that's causing the chaos. And the enemies of Israel are already commenting on the fact that the military is refusing to come, which makes this the perfect moment to attack Israel. And I mean, even as Amir said the other day, we can now see that Israel won't save themselves. God will need to step in when they get attacked in a massive way. So we're seeing the setup of this entire chaotic situation that is coming. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem and Israel. Keep looking up. Pray for everybody in need across the world to open their eyes to Jesus Christ while there is still time. And make a difference until the trumpet blows. God bless and shalom.